You know that I'ma keep it cold With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge screaming out With us it's all or nothing Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I am sharing with you 25 quick and easy DIY home hacks that actually work. That's right, I am testing out home hacks for you that are genius. Some of these I've been using for years, other ones are completely new to me, and I promise you, you will wanna give them a try today. It has been a while since I've done home hacks. It's actually been over a year, and you guys love that video, so I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get it, but today is the day that you get to hopefully learn something new. So with that, I hope you enjoy it. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload from me, because I love to be able to inspire and motivate here on my channel. So let's go ahead and get started. The first DIY home hack is super easy and a lot of people don't know this but you can actually switch the dryer door side that it opens on. It took us um, moving to realize this but all you have to do is unscrew the door and then you'll see these little tabs here. Unscrew those and that's where the door can reattach. All you have to do is flip the door over and the handle will still be on the same side. It still works just the same. Screw it back together, put those little plugs back on the other side, and voila, you have a dryer door that opens the direction that you need. DIY home hack number two is your laundry detergent lid. When you're done pouring the soap out, just put it into the washing machine with the load, let it do its thing when it's done with the load, take it out it's like brand new all the soap is gone no residue and then add the cap back on to your laundry detergent all right this next home hack can be used for various different things around the home it's very useful and practical and most of us have this lying around and that is a rubber band on it and you need to set it down well if you're on an incline your measuring cape is going to go whoosh right down something so all you have to do is actually take your rubber band wrap it around your measuring tape or whatever other surface you're working on that you don't want to slip and put it on it and it will no longer slip down that incline. It'll stay. How easy is that? It's so practical. And again, it's just using stuff that we have around the house to make other things better use for us. You're gonna take silicone. I just have this in the garage and this is what we're gonna use. It's clear so it's not gonna show up and it's quick drying time, only 30 minutes. So we're gonna put this to the test. Let me show you what we're gonna use it on. A lot of people like to use one type of hanger in their closet. So I thought it'd be cool to see if this works. I'm gonna take this regular plastic hanger. I'm gonna add a bead of silicone right to the top of it get that somewhat smooth here and we're gonna let this dry and see if it'll keep our clothes from slipping off of the hanger. Made it about two inches in length. So a blouse that would normally fall off the hanger won't anymore with the silicone. Do you see how it's holding it on? Whether you put it on the top before it hits it or you actually put it on the silicone, it actually doesn't drop off. That's a cool hack. So for this hack, you can actually use silicone on the bottom of your vases or decorative objects, or you can use felt pads so that way they don't scratch the surface as you move them around. This next DIY home hack is great if you have kids. If you want to protect the corners of your walls or maybe in an office or something, put these wall guards on. You can pick them up at the hardware store. So propane tanks are heavy in general. So to check the level on the propane tank, you're going to need some hot water, okay? And you're gonna pour that over the propane tank. And where the propane tank is cool is where your level's at. Hot, 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 and it goes cool right here. So that's where my propane tank level is, which is pretty good. I think we might last until fall. Hack number eight, you're gonna want to get your hot dogs and instead of grilling them on your normal area, you put them on the grill, but not straight, actually at an angle. That way you can get those diagonal lines on the hot dogs themselves. And then all you have to do is when you turn it, you will basically roll it and that will give you um, those beautiful lines. And then you're gonna put it on the opposite direction and you'll get those crisscross lines easy. 
The next hack is because of the kids. When you're filling up these water balloons, when they're left over, you're left with no water balloons, but you have a great spout and you can actually use this to water your garden in potted plants. This next DIY home hack, you're gonna need a sock. You can use a brand new one, you can use a straggler that you can't find the match to. Just make sure it's large enough because you want to be able to fill it with none other than uncooked rice. Yep, we eat a lot of rice around here, so we usually go big or just go home, you know what I'm saying? All you're gonna do is take your sock, fill it up with enough rice, leave yourself a little bit of space, that way you can tie a knot in it, and now the sock is filled with rice and you have a homemade heating pad. This probably sounds weird, but it's super easy and it works really well. All you have to do is pop it in the microwave for one to three minutes, depending on the temperature that you want it for. And you can use this on your neck. You can use it anywhere. And the best part is there's no plugs or anything with it and you can sleep with it. Make it larger or smaller, depending on what you need, but we use it, the kids use it, it works great. So get yourself a sock and some rice and make yourself a heat pad. When you need to go use your tape and especially with clear tape you cannot find where the thing is and you have to kind of like feel with your fingers. You don't have to do that any longer. All you gotta do from now on is take your tape, fold it over so it makes a triangle on the bottom, press it, flip it back to normal and then pull that off and now every time you need some tape you simply have your tab already there. And you can use this for any tape and it works great. You can see just how dirty this window is. The thing that I like to use to clean my windows and mirrors in my house is actually an e-cloth. They make window cleaning cloths so there's no chemicals, anything. You just use water and you wash it when you're done. It's super easy. You don't have to spray anything in your house or anything like that and it works like magic. All you gotta do is get it kind of wet and I don't get the entire towel wet. I get half of it wet and then I wring it out so you can see kind of the dry parts, but that helps it. They also have a window pad that has a scrubber side like this and then it has a polishing side. You're gonna think to yourself, that's gonna leave streaks, Emily. No streaks, I promise you. See, there are no streaks on the mirror whatsoever. So you know when it's time to have dessert at night and you have to divide up the dessert equally, sometimes it's hard because you kind of secretly want to give yourself a little bit more than the other person or your kids tend to fight over how much they got and the other person got. Well, guess what? We got it covered. If you happen to have a little pint of ice cream, this is homemade coffee ice cream. Mm -hmm. You want to know a simple, easy trick that doesn't require any bowls? Let me show you. Ice cream container and your serrated knife. Cut it right down the middle, maybe without the lid. So now you have perfectly divided ice cream and it doesn't even require you to dirty a bowl. How awesome is that? Get yourself a spoon and devour. This next home hack is just great for organizing your garage and getting things off the ground so you have more space to store your cars. These racks actually came with these hooks and I'll leave everything linked down in the description box below, but they're great for storing bikes, chairs, fishing gear, lanterns, all sorts of things and helmets, and it keeps everything off the ground. Just like this fishing rod holder my husband made. I made this a few years ago. He got a two by four, cut it in half, then he bored holes into it for the handles, and then he used an L bracket to attach it to the ceiling, and then he did the same thing on the other side, except he used a jigsaw to make slits in it so he could slide the rods into it, and the best part is this actually fits underneath where your garage door opens. The next DIY home hack I've been using for years, and that is a squeegee to remove dog hair from the dog bed, carpets, furniture, stuff like that. Now this is a great hack. If you've never tried it, give it a whirl. All you have to do is basically rub this on the surface and it will gather up a ton of hair from your pet. And then you can simply vacuum from there or wash the furniture. Well, they make this little gadget here and it's supposed to do the same thing, but if not better. And I wanna see if the Dollar Tree squeegee works just as good as this thing that costs a few dollars. So let's give it a whirl on an eye. Do you see all that fur on there? I don't wanna put that in my washing machine this way. So I'm just gonna take this and it gathers up all of the hair. 
So this works extremely well. All right. I would say this is worth the money. You could still use a squeegee. You'll need a little bit more elbow grease in it, but you can see it's still collecting the hair. So either or is a great option, but I think because this has the little um, like ridges in it, this is gonna gather more of the hair without very much pressure. You see, it doesn't stick to the squeegee, but it definitely sticks to this um, tool. Hack number 17, I've been using this for years and it's way easier than trying to drain the grease out of your pan from cooking meat. Just use a paper towel, push it around with your spatula. I usually end up using two depending on how much meat I'm cooking and that removes the grease and once that cools, you can just toss it into the garbage. It's super easy, really convenient and way easier. So a really easy solution in storing cords, whether that's on your blow dryer or just cords in general, is to actually repurpose a toilet paper um, cartridge, basically. And you're gonna just push your cords into it and it holds it great, it doesn't split. It's a cheaper solution than buying the Velcro ties, which I do like, but you're just repurposing something that you already use. Easy way to store wrapping paper, instead of actually putting tape and then having to ruin that piece of wrapping paper, pull it tight. A leftover paper towel holder, cut it, and then wrap that around your paper in place and it's not going to unravel on you anymore. And then when you need to use it, just simply pull that off, put it back on when you're done. This next home hack has been around for years, but it's an easy way to clean your microwave. Take a tablespoon of vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon juice put that in the microwave that is filthy yuck this is gross but real life and set that timer for about five minutes let that steam get to work in and everything and you'll be surprised at how easy it is to clean just simply wipe it out and you're done Now this hack is debatable. You can use this, I don't know. I typically just use a chamois to clean the inside of the car, but you can use this, it collects the dust. It does a fairly good job, but it doesn't get in the cracks like I would expect it to. This next home hack is awesome though, it's super easy. You know when you're blending stuff and you need to clean it? Instead of putting that into the dishwasher or anything, just add hot water, a teeny bit of soap, blend like normal, rinse it out, and you have a clean blender and lid. DIY home hack number 23 is to make window grids on your windows to give a little bit of character. This is super easy and it was really fun. I ended up using my Cricut Joy to create um, vinyl strips with white. You can use black if you have a black window. And all I did was cut those to about an inch thickness. You can choose your thickness. I peeled it off. You can use removable or permanent on here. This is in the bathroom, so I went with permanent and it's been holding on great. I love this. I used a level and press that on and then once I got the first one on I was able to do all the other ones and it just adds so much character to the bathroom window without adding too much and it costs practically nothing to make it was pretty awesome Now this home hack you guys actually suggested to me from my last home hack video, but is to actually take a small drill bit and drill into the crevice of the paint can. That way when you're done pouring your can, the paint will drain out and it works really well. And DIY home hack number 25 is to help you add a key or take a key off of your key ring is to use a paper clip. We all have these lying around the house and that helps divide the key ring so that you don't have to snap a nail off or ruin your manicure. So I hope you all enjoyed these 25 DIY home hacks. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you have a helpful home hack, leave them down in the comments to help us all out. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload and check the description box for more videos and all the supplies that I shared today. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you soon.